Hello and welcome back to the old gold and black for another wolves update. I wasn't going to make one today because I expect, and as you will find out during this video, I expect that tomorrow is going to be a little bit more of an exciting day, but I haven't made one for a couple of days, so I thought I'd keep you up to date with what has gone on at the wolves. Today, of course, has been the open training session, which has been attended by hundreds of fans. It, there was a temporary seating erected, which was great to see, and lots of fans there, obviously living so far away at the moment, not being able to make it, it was a shame. But it seems as if quite a few stories have come out of that short session, and one of those being is that Nuno has come out and he's confirmed that the Neves deal is close and he expects it to go through in the next day or so. He said as well that it wasn't difficult to persuade him to come to the Wolves, which suggests perhaps the pull-in power that Nuno has got over his previous players and something that could work in our favour as the transfer window goes on. It's also believed that the Willy Bowley deal is complete. Uh, it's expected to be announced tomorrow. Now, the story is, or what can I can piece together from the various sources that I've heard, is that Nuno, uh, sorry, Neves is coming tomorrow along with Bolly. The Bolly deal has been completed and that's expected to be a season-long loan. The Neves deal is still yet to be fully completed, as it's a full transfer and a big transfer. He's still got to do his medical, and then apparently he's reportedly going back to Portugal over the weekend before joining up with the Wolves squad on Monday to go to Austria. Now, I expect there to be a double announcement tomorrow, with the two of them being unveiled as Wolves players. Hopefully that happens. I'm a little bit sceptical still about both deals because they're, st they're massive players and they will change our club and there's been stories talking about how we're going to build the team around Neves. I've also heard stories about an agreement with Costa at the end of last season to persuade him to stay that we were going to sign a number of his friends and a number of these high quality Portuguese players and that looks as if it's starting to happen. And maybe there could be more to follow. We don't know yet. But the most exciting thing for me is that Tim Spears hasn't poo-pooed these rumours. He's even said that there is nothing to suggest that these two won't be Wolves players soon. So, hopefully. The Express and Star, though, have reported today that Sporting Lisbon winger Yuri Medeiros, who I talked about, I think, about a week ago, he said that he's happy where he is and that Nuno's going to have to look elsewhere for a winger, but we've heard that already over the last couple of days. Bolly was not interested in coming to Wolves. Nuno personally rang him to tell him how wonderful Wolverhampton was, and he looks as if he's on the way. So perhaps that could be still turned around, but I think Nuno will have to look elsewhere at the moment. Although saying that, do we really need another winger? We've got Zyro and Graham, Costa, Cavaliero, Marshall. That's five for two positions. I think we've got enough depth in that position, for me anyway, going forward. Let me know what you think down below. There's also a story that Wolves are interested in signing Dinamo Dresden left back Philip Heiss, or Heisse, not quite sure of the pronunciation there, but he's another player from the German second division, which we've seen Filippo Afoso Aye coming from. He's be only just signed for Dinamo Dresden earlier this year, so. I don't know whether that'd be a deal that'd be going through, but left back is a position that was highlighted by Paul Lambert earlier on in the summer that we needed to strengthen. We've brought in Barry Douglas. He's the only naturally left-sided player we've got in the first team in defence. We have got Matt Doherty, of course, who can play there, but there have been rumours about him leaving. There have also been suggestions... Well, he's also not naturally left-sided. He's right-sided, but... Perhaps it would be good to get Barry Douglas some cover. That's all for now in this short little update. Let me know if, what you think. Let me know if you were there at the open training session today. I've seen a few clips of Costa. He's looking sharp. Didn't see much of anybody else. Saw a few pictures of Nuno as well. Hopefully, this is the start of something exciting. And Make sure that you subscribe to this channel to get all the major updates. There's going to be an exciting video over the weekend possibly uploaded on Sunday night if I can get things done quickly. But make sure that you are here and don't miss it. Thank you very much for watching. Drop this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.